Hello everyone and welcome back to Anxious Beauty. Today we're going to do a get ready with me. We're going to do my birthday makeup look. Let's get started. Alright guys, so this video is not sponsored anyway, it's just me and my opinions. So anyways, my birthday is in a couple of days and I thought I would do a makeup look kind of inspired by that, just using a few of my favorite uh, makeup things that I have here that I really, really like. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. The only thing I have on my eyes here is of course the Pretty Vulgar Unchained Eyeshadow Primer till I use that all up and I promise guys there's like not much in here left. I keep saying that, but... Like you only use like a tiny little bit of eye primer at a time, so that's why it takes me forever to uh, go through it. But one of these days we'll get through it and go for or go to a new one. Uh, just gonna start with my eyes here, like I always do. I'm gonna use the Maybelline New York Last Sensational Sky High Mascara. It's one of my favorite mascaras. I love the wand. Look how bendy it is. Like here. Look how bendy that is. And I like personal preference, but I like how it, the wand itself is smaller. So that way it can get all my lashes. Cause I feel like sometimes with a bigger wand, I don't get all my lashes and then they all clump together into one big lash. If that makes sense. So that's why I like this wand. For eyeshadow palette today, I am going to be using this. I haven't used this in a long time. This is the uh, Fade Into Hue by ColourPop palette. Definitely a colorful palette. Because you guys know I love color. But that's what it looks like. It has the names there in the back. ColourPop's, I think, a pretty good brand. Insert. But it... So I whack my mirror with that. It also has all the names of the colors on the palette as well, which is nice. Um, I kind of really, really, really like this dark blue with this blue. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. That's just what I'm feeling. So I'm going to go with Iconic, which is that dark blue I just showed you. That green next to it's really pretty too. It's called Bold Type. But we'll use that on another day. Of course, you guys knew I had to do like a big, bold color. And I just put my thing into the wrong color. This is why they have swatch pads here. So I can switch out that color. Whoops. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. Or at least when I don't pay attention. All right, so now going back to that dark blue, not that light blue. All over the eye, of course. All right, so definitely have to clean up under this eye and this eye too when I'm done here, but that's okay. We always do that close to the end here. I'm gonna take a blending brush and just kind of blend this out a little bit better. Okay, and then I'm just gonna use my finger here and I'm gonna go in with this blue right on top here. It's a kind of like a sparkly blue. This is Watermark. So that one right up top there. And just tap that all over my eye. All right, so crazy right now, trust the process. I'm gonna blend that out once more here. In the inner corner of my eye here, I am just gonna add, I think, this blue right here, it's another shimmer. It's Hot Copic. So that one right up top there. All 
Okay, so then I got the inner corner done. Now the last thing I'm going to do is, since this does not have a black in here, I am going to go with this real dark purple right here and use that kind of like as an eyeliner. This is called Zitgist. Zitgist? Zitgist? I'm, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but that one right there. Alright guys, so I cleaned up my eyes here. It looked like I had two black eyes there for a little bit, but I got them all cleaned up to kind of how I like them. So here's how they look. Okay guys, so for primer today, I'm using the Yensa Color and Phase Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. It's in the box. Okay guys, that's how it looks outside the box. Haven't used this in a while. Going in with some concealer next, we, it, uh, we're using the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade L100 Fair Porcelain. I'm adding concealer first today for the sole fact, because usually sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but also because we are using a powdered foundation today, and my personal opinion, I feel like the concealer on before the powder looks better. That's just me. But that's my reasoning for that. Of course, you guys know, real technique sponge. I still have some sparkles on my face right here from that eyeshadow, but that's all right. We'll just be extra sparkly for my birthday. So now I'm switching it up. We are using the Real Techniques powdered sponge today. It looks like this, it's just more fuzzier. And then we are also using the L'Oreal Paris Inflammable 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder minus 10 porcelain. Oops, but in case you guys haven't seen this, there's like a little sponge that, or a compact that it comes with, with a mirror down there, which is cool. But then if you open it up that way, powder foundation. And I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but there is a lot in here. And a little goes a long way too with this stuff. All right, so I only intentionally did half my face real quick just to show you guys, but this side has powder on it and this side just has primer on it. So I don't know if you could tell the difference, but I know I sure can. So powder, nothing. Powder, nothing. Okay, so up next, what I'm using is I am skipping a uh, bronzer today. I'm just gonna go on straight to blush and highlight. This is the Milani Blush in 01 Dulce Pink. This is their baked powdered, or listen to me, baked powder blush. As you can see, it's gotten a lot of love. But that's what it looks like outside. It's a very pretty color. And put some just on the end of my nose because why not? We'll blend this in here in a minute too. Highlight, I'm gonna blend this in after I put on highlight, by the way, the blush. Uh, this is also Milani. This is 110 Dulce Perla Baked Highlighter. Also a very nice highlighter. It's actually one of my favorite highlighters. Look at all that. You get like so much highlight in there. Blending brush. And it's one of those gorgeous like beaming highlights that I like so much. 
but once you blend it in, it looks like more natural, but you can still see it. I don't know how well you guys are going to tell it right here. I put my hair up too because I was outside. And it just is a little bit warm out today. And I thought I'm going to come in and do makeup. Why not just put it up? Okay guys, we are just about done for lipstick today. I'm going to be using the Trustique um, Mini Lip Crayon Set. This is in the shade uh, Florence Fig. It's our all matte. I used this in a video like a couple couple videos ago and I realized I really really liked this color and I wanted to use it again. And I'm going to lightly top this off with the uh, Trust Fund Beauty Better Than Therapy Lip Oil also known as a gloss as well. Or can be used, excuse me, not also known, but can be used as a gloss. Let me... All right, guys, we are done. I'll show you the final look here. Take my hair out. All right, so here's a close-up. Further away version. But yeah, guys, all in all, I really do like how this turned out. Uh, the eyes, I kind of had something a little bit different planned, but they turned out cute nonetheless. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It does help me out a lot. Um, and if you guys want to see more of me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button by hitting the little bell over there to see future uploads from me. We love to have you here. We have fun here. And as always, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and just watching my videos. It means the world to me, and it is truly appreciated. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and head out for the day, and I will see you guys soon with another new video. And yeah, happy birthday to me early. Bye, guys.